All right, so here's how you set up and use the label slayer. Uh, paper feeds over the top. They say, at least they say it has to go that way. I've never tried feeding it from the underside, but there are two little slots on either the front or back of the application space. You slide that backing paper into the top one. Pull it. You usually leave about two eight labels worth of extra space when I'm done, so I have room to do this without wasting the label. And then there's a second slot on the inside. Slot on the inside that you feed it back through. And this is where I sometimes get stuck because it catches one of those little burrs in their print and it's gonna come out the back or the bottom slot on the front. Uh, once that's fed through, just take your can, slide it into the carrier. Now you're supposed to be able to just pull on the paper. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it doesn't usually work for me. Um, for other folks, I've seen it work great. For me, I've got to use one hand to spin the can while I pull the paper. And we're on. Can goes in the slot. I spin it with one hand while I pull the paper with the other. And there we go. Can goes on. Spin and pull. Done. That's all there is to it. When you're done, you just rip the paper off the end. I leave, you know, leave enough space so you can feed it next time, and away you go.